Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I switched back from Google Chrome to Microsoft Edge a couple of days back, and let me tell you, Microsoft Edge is way, way, way better than Google. Um, although it's based on Chromium, and it takes your resources very less. It doesn't eat up your resources like the Chrome. And uh, a plus point here is that you can now directly add your Microsoft Edge extensions to your Chrome. Uh, I mean. Your Chrome extension to Microsoft Edge browser easily with just one click. I have been using these two extensions uh, from a couple of days back to enhance the workflow and the experience. Without any further delay, let's get started. Laptop screen. Now let me open my browser and let me go for settings. In settings, go to extensions. And from these extensions, you need to click on Get Extensions for Microsoft Edge. It will open a new tab, and in the search bar, you need to search for the first extension which I use is Ad Blocker, A D B L O C K E R. Let me search, and this is the one, guys. Ad Blocker, best Ad Blocker, the third one you need to install. Let me click on it, and you need to click on Get. And it will ask you the permission, and you need to accept it. Add extension, and it will install. And let us install. Okay, guys, it's been in been installing. It's installing. Okay, done. So let us move on to the next extension, which I was telling. The next one is the dark mode. Dark mode. And I am also using dark reader. Yeah, this one. This one. You need to click on again. Get add extension. And again, it will check and uh, take you to the website of this developer. And okay, we have installed both the extensions. As you can see here, it's showing the icon. So let me turn on this dark reader and show you how does it work. Close this, and it's on. You can use Alt Shift and D to on and off the extension. So let's on it and check on like Google search. Yes, what shall I search for? The old Google, old dot com. And you can see it's using the dark mode or dark UI here. And again, you can see here it is using the dark UI. YouTube. And as you can see, it's it's using the dark UI. Although it's not accurate, but it tries to shift the white color to the darker side or towards the black color shade. And Let's check out this one. Add blocker. We'll switch on. Okay, it's already on. It's running in background. And how do I check add? Okay, let me search for pirate. No, no, no. not pirate. Mm. Let me search for OLX and check. Alibaba. I don't think you will see ads here. Or let me open my YouTube page and show you. It can skip the YouTube ads as well. And let's see it. Okay. You can count the number. See, it has blocked one ad. And if I play any of these videos, it will block the ads. But I don't want to get copyright strike. So see, as you can see, it has already blocked four ads from this side. Four on this page, eight in total. As you can see, it's asking to pause on this side once or always. You can customize it according to your needs, or if you want to disable it for some websites, you can do it as well. And if you go for customize, top blocking ads, you can customize it pretty much for any website. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you liked it, and if you like this kind of content, uh, how to tips and tricks, reviews, and all this kind of videos, please consider subscribing the channel, and uh, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified uh, 
uh, whenever I upload a next video. Bye bye. See you all in the next video.